If there's anything humanity is supremely, supremely skilled at, it is pushing through, it is plowing on, it is white knuckling it. Think of the amount of times you have been told by your line manager or your leader, don't worry, it's just for this sprint. Just keep going, it's just for this sprint. How many times have you had to tell your team that? But the sprint always ends and then somehow, a weekend or a week later, the next sprint comes. It never seems to end. There are economic drivers of this. Shareholder capitalism, quarterly reporting, the rapacious need for growth on growth on growth. But there are also subtle cultural drivers that companies unwittingly perpetuate. And that is a culture that celebrates endurance. Think of the people of your peers who have been promoted. Think of you and your own promotion. The people who are promoted are often exemplars of endurance. They work late in the evenings, they stay on on weekends. Think about the teams that really perform. They bond by being in the foxhole together. There's an enormous camaraderie for going above and beyond and again and again. Resilience looks something different. What resilience looks like is it says, wow, I am under serious pressure right now. I need to take a step back. I need to know what my limits are. I need to put in place appropriate boundaries. I need to do self-care practices. I need to design my life for balance so I can keep doing this, not just for the next sprint, but for the next decade of sprints. That's what resilience looks like. 